inclusive and equitable society for all. PushGapRadios.com. Dallas, baby. Immigration. Okay, so you were saying about the gang. <laughs> yeah, they said that gang done came up in here and they, they worse than um, MS-13. Yes, MS-13 they say no they joke. are extremely violent. Extremely violent. And huh? what, they, what they specializing, or what they're specializing in right now in the United States is sex trafficking and human trafficking. Mm-hmm. And they are uh, widely known to be in Florida, California, and there's one other state that mm. they're they're heavily concentrated in right now. But the cartel still, running but them again, up in here. And that's just one of the gangs because mm-hmm. then there's another one, a teenage gang. Well, not teenage, but they're like in their early 20s and things. Mm-hmm. And it's, I can't remember, I think they're from Mexico, but again, right. they're extremely dangerous. Mm-hmm. And they have been committing murders and they're doing a lot of the going in the stores. Stealing social security checks. Yes. All that. And they're going in the stores and they're doing this massive looting yeah. and things. See, and it ain't just black people. Yeah, it's, 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 it's getting out of hand yeah. and it's getting ridiculous. And it's going to be so many of them in here after a while that they're not going to be able to control it. You can't control it now. They're not trying to right now. Yeah, because they seen as, as as future Democrats. Now, Joe Biden had said that during his debate with Trump. Sleepy Joe Biden is keeping his promise on what he said during the debate with Trump about the border. Biden is keeping another promise. While our munitions are at a dangerously low level, our country security's been breached, our economy and the dollar have all but crashed, and we're in danger of losing America. When is enough enough? He said he was going to surge the border. Don't believe it? Check this out. The border is a disaster. Yet on September 12th of 2019, in the presidential debate in Houston, Texas, he promised us that he was going to surge the border. Watch. What I would do as president is several more things because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're you see, he promised it. So people keep asking. The Speaker of the House asks, why, Joe, why are you doing this? Why don't you seal the border? Why should he? He promised that he wouldn't. He wants Democrat voters. Rush Limbaugh used to call them undocumented Democrats. And that's exactly what they are. He's letting them in because... Okay, so what are all these illegals getting? What these illegals getting that your ass ain't getting? A prepaid card that gets a a minimum of $1,000 put on it every month for one thing. That part, check this out migrant will get approximately $12.52 per day to purchase food and baby supplies. That's about 40% more than what the average low-income American gets in this country on government food stamps or stamp in 2022, which was about $7.59 per person per day. To put in other words, that $53 million that's being used for this prepaid debit program is double what the New York State is budgeting in 2025 for its Department of Veterans Service. Wow. Its Office of National and Community Service, its Division of Human Rights, and it's more than double... Yeah, so is it better to be an illegal immigrant than it is to be a U.S. citizen, you think? At this point, because they're getting, they're put it ahead of the U.S. citizens. Mm-hmm. They're getting housing, getting they're nothing. getting food, yeah. they're, some of them are being put up in five-star hotels, Yeah, they're getting clothes. I mean, they're they're closing down some of our schools and churches because yeah. they're using them for shelters for them. But our own people that yep, veterans who fought for this country yes are out on the street can't get their help. You know, everything is months and months mm-hmm. down the line for them as far as their appointments and yeah. things. So they're getting pushed back for their help right because these immigrants or migrants or whatever you want to call them Mm -hmm. are getting illegal aliens real quick here's another video about how great the illegals have it here in your country my question is how many crimes does an illegal immigrant have to commit before a democrat is willing to deport them because we know from just the last week that they can commit identity theft social security fraud and beat the shit out of nypd police officers and they still don't get deported 
And that's just from the last week. See, there was a bill on the House floor that said that if you were an illegal immigrant, somebody who was already in this country illegally, and you committed social security fraud or identity theft, you know, stealing checks from elderly Americans, stealing their identity, fucking up their credit. The bill said if you do that, you're going to get deported. Every Democrat in the House voted against that. And then a few days ago, a bunch of illegal immigrants beat the shit out of some NYPD officers. Like, literally, they ganged up and tried to beat these officers to death. And they were released the same day. No bail, no bond, no tracking, nothing. We're very likely never going to see those people again. Actually, we might, because they can keep committing crime and be released the same day, so why wouldn't they? But the crazy thing is, nobody's talking about deporting them. So the Democrats will allow you to come into our country illegally, commit identity theft, and completely financially fuck people over, defraud the social security system, stealing from our elderly as well as draining our system's resources. You can do all of that, plus beat the shit out of cops, and not a single Democrat wants to deport you. And then you got Maine building apartment complexes for illegal immigrants, giving them two years of free rent and brand new housing. You had the federal government giving them thousands of dollars in a cell phone when they cross and setting their immigration hearing in 2026. Like it's getting to the point where it's better to be an illegal immigrant than it is a U.S. citizen. So Dr. Claude Anderson, we discussed him.